world's newest hotspot love for tuna. What an incredible Girl Scout cookie martini. I've had a wonderful dinner. The appetizers, the atmosphere, and the service are nothing short but amazing. If you live in Stratford, nearby, this is a definite five-star plus. Come on down, you'll enjoy. Cheers, Stratford. Oh, she missed her mouth. Don't worry, I did it too. It's excellent. All right. It's excellent. Yeah, he asked me who's your favorite uh, server. I said, that's him. And I said, go tell him to give me a hug. A big hug. <laughs> Yo, what's your name again? I'm Frankie, sir. Yo, Frankie's the best, man. Nah, man. Nah. He's the beast. He's the beast. You hear this? Yo, Frank, is it Frankie the best? Yes, yeah, it is. It's the best. Hey, look at your back. Look at your back. <laughs> I'm not pretty soon, you go. Look at your back. Look, his mom, she's crying. His, his son is, her son is dirty. She's crying. Your mom, you make your mom cry by getting dirty. Yeah? Yeah, we got a dry cleaner right next door. Shout out to the dry cleaners. What do you feel for that? Turn around, turn around. Look at that. Oh my god! Rafa Tuna! <laughs> Yo, your mom got your back? Yeah, she always Yeah, look at this knife, man. This thing you could like cut a piece of meat with. <laughs> no, it's not like a tuna. No, the pasta was, they said that you made it, right? No, I, I was like, what kind of pasta is this? It's not even like made like, like there's no taste to it. But that's what was good about it, like it tasted fresh. And then I had a friend of mine upstate New York, they had a, a, a tablecloth on the table and they wanted me to make all the homemade pasta. It takes like the whole day. I was like, who would want to do this? So the fact that you do this is like a, a, a blessing, you know, because then you get to work and I get to eat it. <laughs> No, but you know what's awesome? That you guys are a family. You guys come out here and you work together every day. You get Because in the restaurant industry, it's really hard to spend time with your family because you're never home. But if you bring your home to work, then you work from home. <laughs> I know, right? That's a good one. Yeah. Home from home. That's it. That's it. Is that enough? When I ate it. Johnny! I'm hungry! Yo, where's the fork? I need a fork. Come on, come on. Where is it? All right. Here's your knife. What we got? What we got? All right. All right. Let's cut this up. All right. Cut it up. Cut it up. Yo, I feel like King Arthur over here with the knife and the thing. Look at this. Oh, he knows I like the dark meat. Yo, this guy cleaned the floors. No, you made the floors, right? I made the floors. Oh, he's giving me the potatoes and everything. Feed him, feed him. Dude, and I ate before I got here. Hold on, I beat you. Hold on, don't start. Oh, gonna I gotta wait now. I'm hungry and the guy wants me to wait. Come on, come on. Alex and Alex. Oh, he's gonna make the soup. He's gonna put the soup on the, the stuff. Look at this. Look at this, look, 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 look. This is meal number 12. Yo, how'd you make this, in the oven? Or is it rotisserie? I think it's cheap, Yeah, wood oven, it's wood oven. It's pan seared, how do you know? You're the part then. I think Hugo Can I get my work a piece? Yeah, absolutely. I think Hugo wants. Hey, we're all family here. Okay. I'm gonna tell you this right now. This thing is amazing. After he put that juice on it, it's like it's not even dry, it's just moist. Wow, these potatoes are even better than the meat. What kind you want, cheese? I can see why people are going to keep coming back here. No more, no more. I can't eat anymore. 
Really? How is it? So I'm getting that and fun. What else can I get you? I'm gonna start working from home. 